remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Amari Hardwick's wife was really feeling the spirit on Martin Luther King Day. She took to social media and praised the civil rights leader for his bravery and hard work. Using her interracial marriage as an example of progress since his death. The brunette shared a photo with her actor hubby and a quote from MLK saying, I have a dream that one day little black boys and girls will be holding hands with little white boys and girls. She went on to say that every day I live in knowledge and appreciation of how one person's dream can affect the lives of countless others. We owe it to ourselves and the rest of humanity to dream, to fight, and to stand. He did so we can. Okay, family, is she on point? Or did the message get lost in translation? You tell me. According to OhioMemory.org, Martin Luther King Jr. once said, In a truly integrated society, interracial marriage should be legal. He continued, The basic aim of the Negro is not to become the white man's brother-in-law, but his brother. One commenter told Amari's wife, Jay, this, I love you, Amari. Y'all love and Dr. King. Respectfully, because your page seems like a place we can have respectful convos, I don't believe he was speaking of interracial relationships when he said this. I'm mixed and the product of an interracial marriage. So again, no disrespect. Perhaps we all interpret things differently. Jay doubled down on her message with this. He didn't specifically mean interracial marriage, duh, LOL. But is the purpose of this post to debate meaning or celebrate a phenomenal soul who moved our country forward and who fought to begin the process of equality for all? Don't lose the soul of a message because you're caught up on dissecting it. Dr. King wanted equality, which includes, but not exclusive to, being able to choose who to marry regardless of race, creed, color. So what exactly did MLK mean when he said in a truly integrated society, interracial marriage should be legal? He went on to say, the basic aim of the Negro is not to become the white man's brother-in-law, but his brother. He should have added some more to that. He should have continued on saying, likewise, the basic aim for the white man is not to become the black man's brother-in-law, but his brother. Yeah, that would have been in pocket. Anyway, I, I interpret it like King is saying that he's dreaming about racial harmony. People should be able to be free to do whatever the hell they want to do. Having said that, I have a whole laundry list of freedoms that come to mind before interracial marriage. But that's just me. What say you? No more talk. What the haters talking about?